so this is part three of this battery renovation or checking to see how good they are um, the batteries are still in this stillage box still in the trailer because I have to move them and there's about 600 kilos of batteries here and there's 24 so unloading them requires quite a lot of effort it's a bit breezy today so I've got the camera inside a cardboard box so it'll be interesting to see uh, how that affects things and whether it cuts the wind noise down now yesterday I identified over here a couple of cells that were a bit low so I put a bolt in there and a bolt in there disconnected this one here so we're just charging those four so that will be about 9 volts through the Variac and the 12 volt charger so this is number one and that's right on the white green boundary so that's good number two yes right on the boundary that's good number three just in the green that's fine number four number four is not very good it's about halfway up the white so that one's charging some more that was low before and it's come up a long way number five right on the white green boundary number six yeah just in the green that's good number seven number seven white green boundary number eight white green boundary number nine white green boundary these are all looking quite good number ten white green boundary number eleven number 11 is into the green quite a bit so that wants to be weakened down a bit number 12 white green boundary so number 4 is a bit low and number 11 is a bit high but what I propose to do now is charge them all from the big forklift battery charger <coughs> so we'll do negative there positive there reconnect this terminal here and give it uh, a long slow charge and see where we go <laughs> now it's interesting uh, we got some good comments on uh, the last couple of videos in this series and uh, Equilux mentioned about uh, stratification of the acid especially in these very narrow and deep cells and that makes a lot of sense uh, it also goes along with the fact that when you're having these batteries in a static situation you do need to make sure that they get equalized very regularly uh, don't discharge them below 50% of their capacity so don't take them below 1150 on the hydrometer still shows two volts at that point uh, but 
it's not a good idea to take them down that far because effectively in layman's terms quite a lot of the acid has moved on to the plates uh, there's more in the book about that uh, so Equilux was talking about stratification where the acid gets stronger at the bottom and weaker at the top so equalizing them i.e. charging them up the whole pack in this case at, to about 2.5 volts per cell uh, means that you're getting gassing and the gassing means that the plates are nice and clean and all the acid has moved from that the SO4 part of sulfuric acid is moved off the plates into the electrolyte the gassing then also creates currents within the electrolyte and so therefore stirs everything up and the the um, the beauty of course flooded batteries is with that stirring up you're moving the electrolyte past the cells taking heat away and also uh, making the uh, the electrolyte homogeneous as in it's all the same so that was a, a very good comment he mentioned that these t tall deep cells uh, can be a problem in static situations obviously in a fork truck they're being swayed around and moved about and you'll get currents anyway so I think that right at the start of this video I did say you can get 20 years out of these sort of batteries and you can given that they're good to start with and you don't discharge them below 50% and you keep them topped up and you equalize them very regularly in fact the uh, the stecker charge controller there's two settings well among the various settings that are there there is a regular equalization setting but also it will do it automatically every time you go below a set voltage uh, the next day it will go equalization for a set time then float for a set time and then absorption but again it's down to you need to have plenty of solar and in this case wind just to make sure that your generation exceeds your consumption on a daily basis I mean obviously that doesn't work in November and December but on a general rule generation should exceed consumption